Today I'll be taking you through ThinkPizan Cloud. To have full access to ThinkPizan Cloud, you will need to subscribe to iMyMap Freedom. Without iMyMap Freedom, you can store up to five maps in the cloud once every 24 hours. You can download the trial version for mobile devices for free. Synchronizing your mind maps to ThinkPizan Cloud is a great way to safely store and back up your files and access them on your other devices. Before you can synchronize your mind maps, you must sign into your ThinkPizan account. If you do not have a ThinkPizan account, you will need to register at www.thinkpizan.com forward slash registration forward slash register. Firstly, ensure that you are securely connected to the internet, then click on the red sign in spot located in the bottom corner. A dialog box will then appear asking for you to enter your ThinkPizan account username and password. So we'll type those in. You will then notice that the spot in the bottom corner has turned green to indicate that we are now signed in. To save an unsynced map to the cloud, firstly select the file save as and then save to ThinkPizan Cloud. Here you'll be able to choose the location of the map I'll choose my my maps and choose the name Pizan Cloud and then press OK. You can open the ThinkPizan Cloud tab by selecting the Tools tab and then selecting ThinkPizan Cloud. To open a synced file, you simply select the mind map thumbnail and then select Open. If we adjust a branch and then return to ThinkPizan Cloud, we can see that the grey icon appears, which indicates that the version on the desktop has been changed since the last synchronization. To update this, firstly close the mind map select yes to save then return to ThinkPizan Cloud and you will see that it appears that it's now a blue synced icon which is ready to be synced and as you can see it's already automatically synced for me the green tick icon has now appeared which indicates that the map has been synced if the green tick icon does not appear, select the map and synchronize in the left hand corner. To create a folder, simply select add folder and then type in the name of the folder you'd like to call it. I'll just simply call it folder 1. You can always rename the folder whenever you like by clicking on the rename folder icon. I'll keep the folder one for now. And if we return to our mind maps, to delete a mind map you simply select the thumbnail as you would whilst opening and select the trash icon. As you can see that has now been removed. A brand new feature in iMyMap 6 and exclusive to Freedom subscribers is Wayback. Wayback stores the entire history of every single one of your maps so no matter what changes you make your ideas are safe. So let's select a mind map and click on the Wayback icon. As you can see here you can browse through every revision of the mind map and we can revert to any stage of the map. This feature is also accessible through iMyMap mobile apps, thinkpresentcloud.com and iMyMap 6 for users with Freedom subscription.